keep your dicks down, Jesus Jarheads! You go out your candy ass right here in the middle of my favorite Sid Holiday box will keep a Christ and Christmas soup sandwich! We've been taking the fact to the atheists in the war on Christmas since July, and we've been gaining ground! The Bible time easily overtook Thanksgiving, and we have established a big head right in the outskirts of Halloween! That's what big caffeine, napalm, our Christ crusade! And the Starbucks sodomites are overrunning the front lines! Where the fuck is Bill O'Reilly with our reinforcements? Hey guys, what's up? Josh Fairstein here. Fuck. You know, I think in the age of political correctness, we become so open-minded, our brains have literally fallen out of our head. Figuratively. Do you realize that Starbucks wanted to take Christ and Christmas off of their brand new cups? That's why they're just plain red. Actually, Josh, it's worse than you think. The atheists and the baby Jesus haters down at Starbucks have never had Merry Christmas on their holiday cups. Well, I decided instead of simply boycotting, well, why don't we just start a movement? So when I went in and I asked for my coffee, they asked for my name, and I told them my name is Merry Christmas. Perfect. You broke the ninth commandment and lied to a barista for Jesus. It's just like the good book says, Thou shalt not bear a false witness unless it's to a coffee shop employee. So guess what, Starbucks? I tricked you into putting Merry Christmas on your cup. You didn't trick Starbucks. You tricked a high school girl who makes minimum wage. Right, and the most exciting part of her life is when she gets finger blasted by the assistant manager on the weekends. I'm challenging all great Americans and Christians around this great nation, go into Starbucks and take your own coffee selfie. And then I challenge you to not only share this video so that the word gets out, but let's start a movement. Starbucks starts a movement with me every time I have a cup. <laughs> Grande on the lips, venti on the shits. Let's call it, I don't know, hashtag Merry Christmas Starbucks. I think something has gone terribly wrong with your hashtag, Josh. Hashtag true story. and Starbucks, guess what? Just to offend you, I made sure to wear my Jesus Christ shirt into your store, and since you hate the Second Amendment, I even carried my gun. How many times are you going to pull that gun on us, Josh? Do some. Yikes. Well, Josh, that's a nice stunt for a new recruit in the war on Christmas, but us veterans, we're going to need more. And you still bought the damn coffee, and all you did was just start a flame war on Twitter. Let me explain to you exactly why Starbucks coffee is so bitter and why it's overpriced. That bitter taste? Well, it's a tiny, tasteful touch of abortion. <laughs> I ordered a fucking strawberry and cream frappuccino, not an abortion. Kind of chewy. Why is it so expensive? Well, they need your money to support Planned Parenthood in the genocide of millions of innocent little babies. Now, it's funny because Christians run to the defense of Starbucks, and yet it is that Starbucks stands directly against pretty much everything that Jesus stood for. That's right. Jesus wanted affordable coffee. Hold the whip. Christians today aren't worried about pleasing Jesus, they're worried about being politically correct. But let me explain to you exactly what political correctness gets you. How about a $250,000 fine and jail time for destroying an eagle egg, but an unborn human life? Uh, not so much a big deal. Not just any eagles, Josh. Bald eagles. The symbol of our nation. Why do you hate America, Josh? So, Starbucks, I'm glad that you're distancing yourself from Christmas and anything Christ because you're nothing alike. You see, Jesus Christ, he formed, fashioned those beautiful babies in the womb. Well, your customer's money, you use it to pull them out, pull them apart, and sell them to the highest bidders. Is that what they do in the back room at Starbucks? They rip apart babies and auction them off? You're telling me I can buy baby parts on eBay? Scar. So, hey, Christians. Hope you have fun drinking your abortion coffee. We salute you, Jennifer Fearstein. We didn't know you were bringing that kind of artillery. We're sorry, sir. Welcome to Firebase Crucifix. <laughs> Hashtag abortion coffee. You crushed it, bro. Until next time, let's see if Christians have enough testicular fortitude, have enough hair on their chest to share this video. Oh, we'll have the balls to share it. But the difference between you and us is we'll leave our video up. Hey everybody, thanks for watching the video.
Cody, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, Sid Vicious had to uh, survive surgery just to get here. Make sure you click like and uh, click subscribe to help the puppies. Well, he needs it so much. And check out our podcast at devilsbusiness.net. Do it, bro. Ooh. Deuces.